In this lecture and in next few lectures, we are going to learn about how JavaScript programs are executed behind the scenes. This is a very important concept to learn about and every modern JavaScript developer should be aware of how JavaScript works behind the scenes. So let's start this section by understanding what JavaScript runtime is. Now remember that what we are going to learn now is a very important concept and I will use this concept to explain many other JavaScript related topics throughout this course. So let's see what a JavaScript runtime is. A JavaScript runtime is an environment which provides all the necessary components in order to use and run a JavaScript program. These runtime environments can be slightly different when we use JavaScript in browser and when we use it as a server-side language using Node.js. However, the basic structure of a runtime environment always remains the same. Now, a JavaScript runtime consists of several components. And in case of browser, a JavaScript runtime consists of JavaScript engine, web API, callback queue, and microtask queue. Okay, so these are the main components of a JavaScript runtime in case of browser. So let's briefly talk about each of these components one by one. The heart of any JavaScript runtime is always a JavaScript engine. Without JavaScript engine, there is no JavaScript runtime and there is no JavaScript at all. A JavaScript engine is simply a computer program which executes JavaScript code. Although there are a lot of steps involved in executing a JavaScript program by the JavaScript engine, but essentially executing JavaScript code is what a JavaScript engine does. Now every browser has its own JavaScript engine. For example, Google Chrome has V8 engine, Firefox has SpiderMonkey and Safari have JavaScript Go. But probably the most well-known engine is Google's V8. The V8 engine powers Google Chrome and also Node.js. And Node.js is a JavaScript runtime for executing server-side JavaScript. All right, so all the browsers have their own JavaScript engine. And no matter which JavaScript engine the browser is using, a JavaScript engine will always have a call stack and a heap. Heap is an unstructured memory pool which stores all the objects that a JavaScript application needs. And the call stack is where JavaScript code gets executed using something called as execution context. Now we will talk about execution context and call stack in our coming lectures. Okay, so JavaScript engine is the heart of JavaScript runtime. However, the JavaScript engine alone is not enough. In order to work properly, we also need access to Web API. A Web API contains everything related to DOM, timers, other APIs, and even console.log, which we, you know, which we use all the time. The Web API is provided by browsers. And essentially, Web APIs provides extra functionality to the JavaScript engine which are not part of JavaScript language itself. JavaScript simply gets access to these APIs through the global window object. So for example, this console.log statement, this console.log function, which we have been using so far, is not actually a part of JavaScript language itself. We have access to this console.log you know, console function because it is provided by this web API. Similarly, when we try to work with web page elements, that means when we try to do DOM manipulation, the DOM related methods and properties also are provided by web APIs. It is not a part of JavaScript language itself. All right, so web API provides extra functionality to JavaScript language when we use it in the browser. And it makes sense that the web APIs are also a part of JavaScript runtime so that these extra functionalities provided by Web API can be used easily in JavaScript programs. Now, apart from JavaScript engine and Web API, a typical JavaScript runtime also includes a so-called callback queue. 
This callback queue is a data structure which contains all the callback functions that are ready to be executed. And just like callback queue, we also have microtask queue. And a microtask queue is very similar to callback queue. In microtask queue also, a callback function waits for its execution. The only difference is that microtask queue stores special callback functions which has higher priority than the callback functions waiting inside callback queue. We will learn about callback queue and microtask queue in great detail in DOM manipulation section and also when we talk about asynchronous JavaScript. For now, just remember that callback queue and microtask queue stores the callback functions which waits for their execution. And once the call stack is empty, then only the execution of these callback functions happen. Okay, so these are the four main components of a JavaScript runtime in browser. And this is a very high level overview of what JavaScript runtime is and how JavaScript runtime environment looks like for the browsers. Now, remember that JavaScript can also exist outside of the browser. For example, in case of Node.js. And this is how the Node.js JavaScript runtime looks like. It's pretty similar, but since we don't have a browser, of course, we cannot have web APIs because the browser is the one who provides these web APIs. Instead of web APIs, we have multiple C++ bindings and a so-called thread pool in Node.js environment. Now, we will not go into details of Node.js runtime environment here as it is out of the scope of this course. But I just wanted to show you that different JavaScript runtime environments also exist. So this is all you need to know about JavaScript runtime environment. In the next lecture, we will see how a JavaScript engine executes a JavaScript program which we run in the browser. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.